welcome to this special edition of our campaign, Health for You. Medical statistics in India always paint a grim picture, and our healthcare forces can never catch up to the growing numbers. Yet, there is some good news. Medical innovations from across the country are promising to change the face of public health care. Cardiac ailments in infants, youth and adults have increased many fold in the last decade. It has become a big concern under non-communicable diseases. Let's take a look at some of the breakthroughs in cardiac care. You may be despairing that this is yet another story on our children's unhealthy obsession with computers and preference for sedentary indoor activities. That puts their hearts at risk. Look again. It is not a regular video game, rather a customized version that gives the player's heart a daily workout. With 60 million Indians estimated to be affected by heart diseases by 2015, very many of them young Indians, innovators across genres are looking at new solutions. This gaming console, created by the Public Health Foundation of India, has accessories like the finger pulse oximeter, a chest strap and a wristband that makes out of a game a complete 10-minute cardio workout. As they say, even a few minutes of exercise a day goes a long way. We at our own level have been doing a bunch of technology-based uh, innovations. One, of course, that is well covered is the Swasta Slate that allows you to go ahead and do all these diagnostic tests, do them at a very affordable rate and do them often enough where you'll actually know things. The fact of the matter is you can do an ECG at home, you can go ahead and do PTINR, you can do cholesterol, uh, you can actually go ahead and measure your height and weight, document it, store it on the cloud and that actually informs better decisions. actually see that the game here is where he, you know this guy is actually trying to give him high fives and he has to go ahead and get a high five and he gets this point now as he's actually going about this particular system what is actually happening is that he's moving his body he's actually going ahead and recording all uh, the element the watch is recording the amount of calories he's actually burning that's one of the big things and he's getting a nice little upper body workout as you go to the next stage of the game it'll actually have a little bit of a lower body workout and so on so we've got these games that actually go ahead and combine upper body workouts lower body workouts and that's i think a model of what a future workplace might look like What we've been looking at is how do we actually make going to the gym or actually exercising fun. Talking of India's healthcare voids, we are largely talking about rural India in which large tracts have absolutely no doctors, not even enough or trained health workers. It is for these areas that the Decision Support System, or the DSS, is a saviour innovation. Hypertension or high blood pressure is a chronic medical condition that weakens the arteries and thereby the heart. It claims many lives. 
The inbuilt algorithms of DSS detect hypertension and then auto guides the health workers on the clinical course of action that must be taken. We now recognize that we do not have enough doctors at the front line uh, to provide these kind of services. Therefore, we ought to be able to depend upon technology enabled non physician healthcare providers to do that. So, community health workers and nurses who are trained and technology enabled can easily detect high blood pressure, detect diabetes, manage them very well, and even some of the early manifestations of heart disease can be recognized by them. This way, the treatment is not dependent on a doctor who is anyway non existent in rural hospitals and public health centers. Innovations hold out hope for irreversible mistakes in cardiac care. Or when there is no go, when only a transplant would work. What new breakthroughs can a patient resort to till a replacement heart becomes available? Medical scientists say a positive answer to that question is already in the making. People have worked on a bioartificial heart. So they have taken rat heart they have stripped this heart of its own cells, only scaffold or, or structure is left. They have seeded human bone marrow derived stem cells over this heart and they have observed in culture that this heart is able to replenish its vessels and the muscles and is able to uh, beat in the, in the culture conditions. So, in future uh, we might have some heart which is not useful for um, transplant, but we can use that heart as a scaffold and grow patients own stem cells and can use it um, as a stopgap arrangement till we get good heart for replacement. Growing back a damaged heart with stem cells is soon going to become a reality. Across the world, scientists are working in various stages of progress. Their success would hold out hope for the lakhs of patients waiting in long queues for heart transplants. Surviving on extremely expensive heart assist machines in the meantime, expenses that most patients are unable to bear. Over the last 30 years, we've developed pumps that can support a failing left heart pump for up to 10 years. So it's, a, it's called a left ventricular assist system, which actually contains a left ventricular assist device. It is a micro pump that is implanted within the chest. The total artificial heart or probably the left ventricular assist device would probably cost you in Indian rupees, would probably cost you a crore, maybe upwards of a crore. So, you know, we are making more of that heart biologic rather than artificial. 